how to place your very first Facebook ad. So again, must have a fan page uh, to be able to place ads. Okay, you can, um, you should start with Facebook Ads Manager before Power Editor. It's easier for beginners. Focus on making your first sale. Okay, so don't get don't get too caught up. Okay, um, simplest way to start is a picture post. Simplest way to start is a picture post, but we will cover a few different types. Okay, let's cover picture posts, video posts, link posts, offer posts, and then we'll cover maybe published versus unpublished. Okay, so um, let's just kind of dive into this and let's see how much we can cover really quick. Okay, we'll just do our best to keep, keep covering a bunch of stuff. So let's erase a few of these tabs. Okay, so here we are on the page. So when you publish something here, this is going to show up um, as a published post, okay? You can either schedule it to post some time, you can backdate it, uh, you can save it as a draft, right? So, so or, you know, you can basically do certain things right here, but this is going to show up on your page. If you want it to be unpublished, um, there's a way to do that, and we're going to cover the difference between that. But when you're first starting out, just do it published. So when would you want to do what's called an unpublished post or a dark post? Once your page starts getting popular, if you have a product that you don't want people to easily reverse engineer, you might not want it available here. Right? Remember when we started looking at pit bull lovers, we could easily find products. We could just even go to like photos and we could easily see if they were selling a product just like this. And then there you go. Like we can see that what exactly what products they're selling because these are all published on their page. Right? So when somebody has um, their stuff published, um, it's a little bit easier to find. But it doesn't matter. I do this all the time. Who cares? When you're first starting out, just do published posts. And then in the future, you could do unpublished posts. So there's a, a couple different types, right? Um, you can publish a, um, a link, okay, a, a link to a product. So let's look what that would look like. Let's go find a product right now. Let's go to Google. Let's do this search, site.myshopify.com slash man cave. Okay, I've taught this in previous modules, so we're going fast with it. So here's a bunch of sites um, that have to do with man, pay, man caves that are on my, uh, my Shopify, right? So just kind of cool stuff. Let's just go look at a random one. Let's see if there's any of these. Okay, sweet man cave company, okay? So just like this, they have a catalog of products. And let's say they're trying to sell one. Um, da -da. I don't even really see anything here having to do with man cave. So I'm going to go back to another one. <clears throat> let's go back to another site. Let's go here to um, let's go. Let's type in maybe a better search: man cave wall poster, something like that. Let's see. Um, and let's just look for a direct product link. Sorry, that shop's not available. Sorry. Boom. Let's try to find this one. That page is not available. Wow. Our stuff is, maybe I'll go over here to tools and search in the last month and see if we can find something better. Okay. Let's see. Minimalist. Um, I'll search a little bit better than that. Let's do this past year. Okay. Retro posters. Let's maybe find something. Ah, look at all these people that have not paid their Shopify bills. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to send you some, trying to give you some advertisement here. Okay, here's some cool wall decor. So maybe I could find something here that's man cave is esque and link directly to it. Um, looks like too much work. I'm gonna go ahead and find a better one. Man cave ideas, man cave collection. Okay, here we go. Um, let's look for something here. Okay, of all these things, maybe let's see anything jumping out at us. How about this one? Okay, so here's a product. Let's say this was your site, your man cave expert site. You can go find a canvas, an art canvas with a car decoration on it. This might be great for a man cave, okay? It's 50 bucks, that's what they're charging. Um, they're probably getting it for a lot less, probably 15 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever. So this, this link right here, there's a few different ways to be able to promote this as a product. You can promote this picture, so let's save the image as, and let's do, um, let's do uh, car canvas. Let's just save it as, I don't want to say, car canvas picture. So you can save it as a picture, you can save it as a link, okay? So um, let's first, let's go in and post it as a picture. Upload it as a photo, car canvas picture. Um, uh, and then you put some sort of a description with a link to do it. Um, would you rock this, what was it, like a Bugatti? I don't even know. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas? I didn't even pay attention. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas um, in your man cave? 
Um, and let's do like chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti? Tag if uh, you know, say something like uh, get it here. Chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti man canvas in your man cave? Get it here, and then you can put a link to it. Now, notice this link. Look at how long this link is. Okay, so. Look at how long that link is. That just doesn't look good, right? So what? First things first, you should you should map a domain name to your store. Okay, first things first. Second thing, when you're when you're creating products in your store, you should shorten the URL so they're short, so they're a lot shorter. But all that being said, there's another way. Okay, what you can do is you can go over here to uh, Bitly. Okay, and by the way, we're in the process of creating a URL shortener app right inside of your store to be able to make this a lot a lot better. Uh, but you can go over here to, to Bitly, paste your long URL there, and it creates a short one. Then you can customize this, um, Bugatti poster, and then save. Okay? I hope that's a Bugatti. I'm doing all this work, and it might not even be a Bugatti. Um, and now, instead of this long link, look, get it here. Okay? Now, if you want, you could even repeat that twice so it's very, very visible. Get it here. Get it here. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas in your man cave? Get it here. And if you and you might want to draw maybe even an arrow like that. just to, Maybe even draw a little more attention to it. Get it here. Get it here. Okay. So um, this right here is an example of a of a of a simple picture post. And let's do that. Let's publish that one. So now you have, um, you know, look at this. Look how it looks, right? So now you have um, you've got your man cave expert page. You're you're building up a lot of cool content. And now you've got a nice picture. And this picture sells something. Okay. So now you've got the ability. This is called a picture post. Okay. So we're talking about a picture post right here. So what this does is this basically is just a picture. When people click on it, all they see is a picture. But this does well for engagement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to boost this post and try to get some engagement on it. Okay. But I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad going to this. Okay. But before we do, I'm going to also create another version of this post. Okay. So um, the next version I want to create is a link post. So what happens if I take the same link and just post it as a link, no picture, okay? So I can now do a link post. Now, it, it pulled up a kind of a bad link. That uh, It looks like that site didn't automatically pull up a good link. Let's try it again. Let's go, um, let's refresh. For whatever reason, this page is not pulling up a good image when I post this long link. There it is. Okay, now this is a link post. See how it still has the picture a little bit there? Okay, it still has it. So it's not bad. So what I do is I just pasted this long link it auto populated this um this this picture title and description now i don't like that description at all it just doesn't look good at all so i would say something like here like would you rock this bugatti art canvas in your man cave check it out okay something like that so that's a little bit better maybe of a, of a description. Art canvas car decoration for living room prints on frames. I'm going to probably do something better than that too. Click on it. Bugatti art canvas um, man cave expert. Okay, Something like that. Bugatti art canvas man cave expert. Would you rock this Bugatti art canvas in your man cave? Check it out. So this is called a link post. Now if they click on this, it's actually going to go. It's going to get a little bit less engagement, but it's going to get more clicks. So then now that you've used that, you can erase that. So now you've got to put a description here. You could actually do, I'll, I'll just use the same, um, the same description here, just so we can save time. You can put in a new one. But now I've got the same kind of a post, but this time it's a link post. So this is a link post, and this is a picture post. So you see the difference? Um, now, there's a few things that I can do here, but you just see the difference, right? I'm just giving you, like, the basics of it, okay? So let's publish that. What I've essentially got is I've got a link post and I've got a picture post. And I could even do a video post um, if I wanted. So what is the difference? Now, for this one, for this one, what, what's going to happen is people are going to maybe like this. Like a lot of people that like if I get the right man cave audience and I get the right Bugatti audience and stuff like that, I can target people that might be interested in this. Okay? And then um, over here, um, this one's a little bit more of like a, just directly trying to sell this thing. Okay? So this is more like when they click on this, it's going to take them right to the page to be able to buy this. Okay, so that's an example. This is just an example of, of how to be able to do it. There's lots of ways to do this. Now I've got two posts. So now that you've got two posts, you're going to log into your Facebook Ads account. Okay, I've just got a little shortcut link here. Log into my Facebook Ads account, and now let me show you about placing um, a couple of types of ads. 
again, we're going to show, um, I showed you a picture post. Um, I showed you a link post. I didn't show you a video post or offer post yet, but I at least showed you these. Maybe I'll, um, let's see. And I showed you publish and then publish. So I'll maybe come back to show you those. Um, okay, let's just keep going. So when you log into Ads Manager, it says choose your objective. Okay? You can, if, you have, if it's a video post, you can get video views as your objective. If it is a, um, if it's a Facebook offer, like maybe a free plus shipping offer or something like that, you can get people to claim your offer right here. So an offer ad would be get people to claim your offer, and let's call this um, campaign name free plus shipping Bugatti poster. Now, of course, this product won't qualify for free plus shipping. It's not. It's too expensive, but this is just an example. I would go to an offer claim, and I would press continue, and then I would go in here, and I would start creating it, okay? I would start... You know, I would I would start creating my my offers right here. Okay, now if it defaults to create multiple ad sets, you might have to click here, create new ad set. You want to make sure it's right there. Um, but the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a Facebook fan page, and right here you can have hundreds of them. I mean, you see I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, right? So you're gonna to want to come in here and, and choose a fan page. Let's go ahead and choose uh, man cave, and it should pop right up. Just like typing it in, and then I've got man cave right there, and then I can create an offer. And so this is how you would create an offer for it. This would be like, you know, um, whatever kind of offer you want to create, these are these offer ads. And these work pretty well. So you can decide, okay, buy one, free stuff, let's do free stuff. Um, and then it says free shipping with purchase. So you can do all kinds of stuff here. And you can, if you don't know what each one of these does, just go like this. Go like, this is what I did when I first started. A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 okay, one, 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 okay. And then there's advanced options underneath that. So you can kind of see AAA, so you can kind of like mess with these, right? So now I can kind of just go in here. Okay, what's my offer title going to be? Um, you know, uh, get this Bugatti canvas free, just pay, just pay shipping, okay? Boom. So now I've got an offer, okay? And then for details, that's going to be down here, BBB, details. Um, for a limited time, we are giving um, the next 100 man cave expert fans um, this Bugatti canvas art for free. Just pay, the, uh, just pay S and H. Okay, so it's something like that. Yeah, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this is the best copywriting. You guys get. You guys get that I'm just live right now on, on a thing, right? Just serving some value up. And then you can choose an end date, end time, whatever. Expi offer expires. You can always go in and edit that, but you have to keep an eye on it. So right now it's December 21st, so it automatically expires a week later. You got to keep an eye on this. If you're keeping a good eye on it, then you could basically, you can go in and do expires at your 22nd and just keep changing it um, another day. But if, if not, you know, whatever. Just make it like that. Where can people redeem it online? Online offer URL. Now this is going to be the link to your, um, you know, you're going to basically make like, uh, you're going to make like a separate tracking link for this one, but it would be something along the lines of this. You would basically make, make a link, um, but you're going to want to make sure that you track it so you know everybody that's coming from this. So you can always make a different Bitly link. Um, but there you go. I've just got, it's going to basically, when people click this offer, it's going to go there. Okay, total number of offers available, maybe like 97 left. Okay, so there we go. I've got I've got this this whole thing kind of coming together, right? So here's my ad coming together. Um, terms and conditions. I can basically terms and conditions. I might want to put something in there, but I'm not going to go into this right now. Um, you know, so I'll just do some basic ones. You might want to go a little bit more complicated here. Terms and conditions. Um, this offer may expire at any time. We reserve the right to end this promotion at any time. Without notice, we also reserve the right to extend this offer without notice. Um, customers must pay for shipping and handling of the free product. Offer only valid in the United States, whatever. You guys, I'm giving you like an example. Okay? Um, for more details, Contact support at mancaveexpert.com. Okay, just like that. So you're kind of starting to get, and then you can see kind of a notification example. 
somebody's going to say you have an unused offer, they're going to get notifications that look like that. Pretty cool, right? It's a kind of a pretty cool little product create. This given page, oh, sorry, I just created the page. I didn't turn on offers. Okay, so on a side note, we'll come back to this, but you got to go back into the fan page and turn on your fan page for offers. And I think they say that your fan page must have 100 fans in order to have offers. So, sorry, I'm always used to not doing offers immediately in training. But you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point. So there you have it. You just go and then you create the offer. Okay, and then you could design a graphic right here if you want, some kind of cool stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ditch this out, and that was an offer ad. Let's go back to the objectives. Um, a video view ad, same thing. You would just upload the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but for now, what I want to do is I want to focus on picture posts and link posts. Okay, we covered a little bit of those. Picture posts and link posts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this boost your post objective right here. And we're going to go ahead and do... Um, Whatever the post is about, you're going to give it a title like Bugatti, um, Bugatti Art. That's going to be, this is going to be the name of the product, so you can always remember it. Bugatti Art. So all ads running to this, you should start with Bugatti Art, so you always remember them. And then the next one is going to be the audience you're going to go into. So I'm going to do like Bugatti Keywords, okay, for this one. Conti continue. Um, so again, my objective, just going back, my objective is, uh, is going to be product name and keyword name that I'm going after. And you can always change this later, okay? So now I've got audience placements, budget, and schedule. Okay, so what you're gonna do over here is, um, I'm gonna target people in the United States for now because it's a product I want them to purchase. And I'm gonna target all ages because I'm gonna go general. Um, I don't know, I'll probably I usually always target 21 because I find 18 year olds don't really buy stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go broad at first. Now I'm going to target men because this is a man cave site. Are women also interested in this? Sure, but again, you got to know your demographic. I'm going to target men, 21 to 65 in the United States. Now that's 88 million people, so I got to narrow this down. Okay, that's where detailed targeting comes in. So I'm going to type in Bugatti, okay, and I'm going to look for interests, not employers, interests. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how big my audience is. 3.3 million people. Now a lot of people will argue that's too big of an audience, and it might be. It all depends on how much money you want to spend. If you have some money and you have time to wait it out, what I will probably do, and this is important for you guys to follow along, what I would probably do is um, go very, very broad like this, knowing my first 100 or $200 I'll probably lose. Now, some of you probably don't have that money to lose, so you can't take as risky of a strategy. But see, for me, I can go right in here to these Bugatti audiences, and I can basically buy data. I can go in and spend 100 or $200, and I can buy data. I can start to see you know, a lot of details about the people that are clicking through. So then I can, I can go broad and then narrow it later, okay? But, um, and then also I can wait it out. By, by being willing to go, to go to a big audience, I can let Facebook's conversion pixel, which should be on your site here, every time a sale is made, it tells Facebook that a conversion was made and Facebook will start, um, will start getting smarter about who to show my ad to. So I can take a big general audience like this and I can actually be successful with it because I have money to ride out. Now, if you don't have money to write out, you're going to have to narrow down this audience, okay? So you got to, you got to kind of narrow this down. So, you know, you got to look and say what, what other kind of keywords um, are related to Bugatti. So I've got Bugatti here, Bugatti there. This second one I'm just using to kind of see, like, what are some other, what are some other related terms that Bugatti gives me, okay? And I'm not seeing, like, like, ones that I like. So let me do this. Let me do Bugatti. Okay, here's one, Bugatti Veyron, Bugatti Royale. So there's types, automobile types. Okay, so when you when you type in something, okay, when, when you go in and you do detailed targeting, right? When you type in something, oh sorry, I put it in the wrong one. You got Bugatti up here, and let's do the let's do now models here in narrow audience. You got the main interest up here, down here, let's look for sub interests. Bugatti Veyron or Veyron. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce all this stuff. So now I've just narrowed it from 3.3 million people to 2.2. So I've got everybody interested in Bugatti and everybody interested in Bugatti Veyron. Veyron, okay? So this is an example of like a second level of an interest. So I'm narrowing it down. What my goal is, my sweet spot is going to be 200,000 to 800,000 people here. Okay. So this is going to be my sweet spot. And so I'm still looking for people maybe interested in Bugatti. Okay. So let's see if I can see if I can kind of type this in. Let's see what other kind of related search is coming up. Bugatti automobiles, Bugatti fashion, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So it's just all this 